king of cool. Just one man deserves that title. That's Dean Martin. People came from all over the world to see the Rat Pack. And uh, Dean Martin was certainly a strong part of that whole image. Class, um, kind of New York suave, swagger kind of stuff that they brought to the table that we hadn't seen in Las Vegas prior to that. It was more, more 10 gallon hats and cowboy boots. But here these guys came in with these beautiful tuxedos and stiff white collars and black patent leather shoes. I love those black patent leather shoes. We thought they were really cool. Dean's uh, style that was relaxed, the crooner type, uh, very sincere. He was kind of like uh, every Italian person's uh, cousin or uncle, successful uncle, from the way he dressed and the way he carried himself, dignified and uh, obviously Mr. Cool. The first time I met Dean was at the Sands and it was uh, in the suite, and he had Jeannie and all the kids were there. And I was kind of surprised to see that Mr. Cool, Dean Martin, had all these children. And, uh, and they were all running around and having a good time, and we kind of joined in. So the, actually, the first time I saw him was as a family man. And then my father, who had worked as a bartender at the Desert Inn Country Club, and also the Tropicana Country Club, used to be behind the bar when Dean would get off the golf course and my father would talk to him a lot and come home and tell us, this is a great guy. He's a great Italian guy that loves his family and he loves his pasta. Be somebody. Let's drink up and be anybody. Yeah. I would say, out of uh, all the Rat Pack, we probably drank the less. I think uh, I think uh, Frank and Sammy drank a lot more than Dean did. Dean used to say, "I don't, I don't drink that much. I, I, I spill most of it." <laughs> How about a toast? Toast, a toast. You can get high watching this show. Hi. Oh, Dean loved yeah. corny jokes. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were corny, but, you know, with his timing and his nonchalant attitude, uh, he made them funny, you know. Two cannibals were having lunch, and one cannibal says the other one, I hate my mother-in-law, can't stand that woman. And the other cannibal says, forget about her. Just eat the noodles. You know, that, that was Dean's kind of humor. You know, dumb jokes like that, you know. It was his mistakes that made him funny because he could ad-lib. And so when things, I used to sit there on the roast and go, oh my God, they're gonna have to stop tape. This is disaster, you know? And somehow Dean would pull it out. You know, he'd just do something that just was made it funny. And he had that great ability to ad lib like that and uh, turn a bad situation into a funny situation. What a wonderful thing to have an image like that.
I think every uh, performer learned something from Dean when it came to uh, how to be relaxed on stage. There was something about Dean that made everything he did seem as natural as, as sitting with friends uh, in his home. He, made it, he had the gift of making everybody feel that way. And that's an important thing to learn from those who have gone before you. But Dean was the epitome of relaxed and enjoying what he did.